Hi everyone, the Spider-Man here. Well, if you remember everybody, on the 13th of September, my Hogna species Miami Wolf Spider was in a death curl and I managed to um, save her and quickly put her into this cricket tub here. So I think that she needs a rehouse and I'm going to be putting her into, a, into an enclosure this size. And um, she's doing perfectly fine, as you can see. She's just sitting on the water dish. And uh, I gave her a feed yesterday, but uh, woke up this morning and she hasn't really eaten much of the cricket. And there is the cricket, everybody. And as I said, she's just sitting uh, on the water dish. I filled that water dish up yesterday and it's uh, evaporated already. So I'll probably put a bigger uh, water dish in and I'll take that cricket out. And as you can see, she's doing perfectly fine. Now, don't forget, everybody, she is a wild caught specimen. So I don't know how old she is. And plus, she's an adult female as well. So it could possibly, you know, she could die soon. Or hopefully, I've got her for another couple of more years. But uh, yeah, being wild caught and being adult female, you don't know how old she is. So yeah, it's a possibility that she could die. But I'm hoping she won't. So, while I'm here, everybody, let's sort out a new enclosure. So, ladies and gentlemen, there's the enclosure. So, let's put some substrate in there. Don't need too much. Probably around about uh, an inch or so. And I'll use the same hide that's in the uh, cricket tub. And like I said, I'm going to get a... Uh, bigger water dish there we go that should be perfectly fine so let's uh, put the hide in and uh, put the water dish in so I have got a water dish and it's just a milk bottle cap let's just quickly put that in and I'll fill that up while I'm here there we go and what I'll do is like I said I'm going to use the same uh, hide as before and because there's a uh, holes at the back, I'll build up the uh, substrate at the back of the uh, plant pot so it's nice and dark. So I'll just pinch some substrate here and put it at the back of the enclosure so it's nice and dark and she feels safe inside there. So that looks perfectly fine and it's... Uh, Plenty more room to walk around. It's a lot bigger than, than the cricket tub. So, she's not really moving around much, to be honest. As you can see, she's fairly big. She's probably around about a two inch leg span. I think she wants to. Oh, there we go. She does seem a little bit lethargic. I don't know why. But uh, like I said earlier, you know, I don't know how old she is. So she might be coming towards the end of her life. But uh, well, she still seems perfectly fine. And uh, I'm glad I put a bigger water dish in there. Stick some substrate in there. If you leave substrate in the water dish, it does actually absorb the water. So there you go everybody, nice and simple. And I'll uh, get that cricket and uh, throw it in the bin. And I'll keep that red water dish. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, rehousing video. I have one more thing everybody to show you before I say goodbye. So ladies and gentlemen, I wanted to show you a malt in my collection. Now on the 10th of October, I did a, an attempt feeding video of my Brachypalma vaggins and I did say that uh, their abdomens were looking a bit dark and I thought they might be possibly in pre-malt so this one is freshly malted and you can see there's the malt there just on the uh, right hand side so let's just quickly take that out so I was absolutely spot on I've checked the other one and the other one hasn't malted yet so let's just uh, quickly zoom in into the tarantula and there it is there, showing a little bit of uh, adult colours now. And uh, not very big, probably around about uh, 
centimetre and a half, nearly pushing two centimetres. So just give it a little touch. Yeah, it's perfectly fine. So I just wanted to share my malt with you guys. And if the other one malts, I will let everybody know. So what I'll do is I'll leave this sling for about three or four days and let its body harden up and then I'll uh, offer it some food. So everyone, I've put the enclosure on the shelf and as you can see, she's at the back of the enclosure just grabbing some heat off the heat cables. So let's just put the lid on. And I hope you enjoyed this video everybody. And uh, thanks for watching everyone.